the aim of all syringing to be, should be to diagnose the obstruction in a way that is as pain-free for your patient as possible. A technique I'm offering here involves standing behind the patient who's seated in their chair and then using your understanding of the way in which your hand pronates and supinates in order to change your grip to enable you to pivot effortlessly around the most inferior point of the ampulla. Understanding the pronation and supination and this change of grip is essential. The key is simply to balance your hand upon your patient's head, uh, thus giving you great stability. The lower lid is obviously put on to stretch. You've already checked that the patient's punctum isn't stenosed on the slit lamp. And then the lacrimal cannula drops into the punctum vertically and for, your, for the patient's right eye you rotate around the ampulla and depress the plunger using your forefinger. For the left eye, and this is the critical part of this, you change your hand position. So originally using your forefinger, now you change your hand position to be using your thumb. And this again enables you, with the lid on tension, to descend into the ampulla vertically and then rotate with the tip of the lacrimal cannula around the lower portion of that ampulla, stabilizing your hand on the patient's head, and then depress the plunger using your thumb. So finger for the right eye, thumb for the left eye, equals happy patient.